Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Book nice coming at you with the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Collection Shocker figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends. Imports. Many may be I'm fucking with. High speed we know about you. Stay buying figs. Don't all right, here we go. Second review for the first retro carded Spider-Man series of 2022. Taking a look at Shocker, real name Herman Schultz. I guess we could go ahead and knock his bio out. His bio on the back of the package reads, Shocker's vibro units allow him to blast through solid metal or hurl long range vibrational punches, but they've yet to help him defeat his eternal nemesis, the amazing Spider-Man. So a classic look for the classic Spider-Man villain on the retro card, reminiscent of the 90s shocker a play on the spider-man the animated series version of the character which ironically looks more like his first appearance than this particular figure looks like they kind of forgot some of the lines here on his costume but if you look closely you can see that the costume is meant to look as if it's padded you know that's to help him while he's emitting these uh vibrational charges from those gauntlets on his arms now this is technically our third shocker in the life of the marvel legends line we had two two versions of a sort of modern look for Shocker. One was sort of like a variant. It had the Thunderbolts emblem on what is supposed to be like his belt buckle, even though he wasn't wearing a belt. And then there was another version without the Thunderbolts symbol. At some point, he was a member of the Thunderbolts, but we did get an old Toy Biz version of Shocker that had like a little gimmick. I still have them. I'll break them out for a comparison. Now, I must say straight out of the package, I do really like the look and the feel of this figure. I do have a couple of issues, a couple of as always I think the thing that stands out the most is that they didn't put any like distinctive lines on the suit almost every appearance of Shocker and all media he has the distinctive lines kind of shaded in on his costume and I think that would have really made this figure pop although I, I can't lie I do really like the look of him so the last Hasbro Shocker that we received was back in the Sandman Builder figure wave this is a brand new opportunity for some new collection Collectors or for some people who missed the first one to grab a good classic looking shocker so as you guys know there are six figures in this wave or in this assortment no build a figure parts with any of the figures you don't need them to complete a build a figure you can pick and choose as you see fit but again I do think that every figure in the wave is worth a purchase not a crazy amount of accessories here he is packed in with two effects that we've seen countless times but it does work very well for shocker here and they look really really good Good. I'm sure some of these independent contractors out here that are making effects, accessories, head sculpts will have some additional things that we may be able to pair with this figure. But again, I do think these work just fine. Something unique about this figure is that there really is no like wrist swivel or hinge. The entire fist, hand, forearm is all one part and that can be removed. There is another set of interchangeable hands. It rotates at the end closer to the bend of the elbow. You have to be careful though because if you try to bend the elbow while holding the front portion of his hand then they may pop off the pegs the elbow joints are very tight so you need to bend closer to the forearm or to the end of the entire swappable part but yeah he's got a set of hands that are open with the fingers slightly spread not really sure how i feel about the whole portion rotating i mean it's not really a huge deal again you just have to be careful as you're trying to bend the elbow and that's pretty much it in terms of accessibility accessories i don't know that we actually needed anything more with this particular character but as always i'm not going to turn down any additional heads or hands and it would have been nice if something else was packed in pretty standard articulation for a male marvel legend figure no real surprises here the head can be removed down up left right pivot shoulders on a ball joint they'll come up pretty far rotation at the upper bicep you saw there were double jointed elbows you saw how the forearm hand wrist articulation was Decent ab crunch going back and forward as well as a waist swivel, T-joint at the pelvis. Legs will come up pretty far, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee. The elbows and knees are very tight. Should be noted that these are pinless joints too, so that's really cool. And he has rotation right below this little silver portion on the boot as well as a hinge and a pivot on the foot. And there he is next to the two previous versions of Shocker, the old Toy Biz Spider-Man Classics version, which has a lot of character. I like the kind of 
menacing look. And of course, Toy Biz was very good at giving some really detailed paint applications, but he was kind of forever hunched over. There was no ab crunch on this figure. And again, it had a gimmick. And there's the more modern version, a version that you could actually use for your superior foes of Spider-Man. Speaking of which, we still need an overdrive figure Hasbro, but this is the one without the Thunderbolts logo. I do have the other one here somewhere too. And then here he is next to the classic Scorpion. I hope we do get an updated sort of modern Spider-Man the Animated Series looking Scorpion at some point. But this was cool that they gave him the really long bendy wire tail. I kind of wish it was removable though. And Hydro Man, two characters that both appeared on the Spider-Man the Animated Series cartoon. I wish we could get some regular power down arms for Hydro Man. And there he is with Tombstone and Hobgoblin, the old Hobgoblin from, I don't know what wave it was, something will be popping up here. But I do think that the older Hobgoblin that nobody can get right now for a reasonable price is better detailed than the one that's in this wave. I don't have that figure just yet, but just looking at it, I see what kind of style they were going for, the retro sort of animated series style, but I'm feeling the detail on the older version a bit more. I wouldn't mind a more sort of modern tombstone too, maybe put him in a suit, but it's got to be on a, a big sort of buff buck. And then here he is next to the retro carded, single carded Kingpin and Rhino. I know a lot of people hoping for a retro carded, single carded Rhino re-release. We might actually get a brand new Rhino utilizing that armadillo base buck. But I really liked Spider-Man the Animated Series for showcasing all of Spider-Man's rogues. All of these guys kind of working under Kingpin as the Kingpin that he is. And utilizing the help of sort of super powered criminals. And I love that whole under world aspect of the show and finally there he is next to his wave mate or series mate the uh, symbiote black suit spider-man the regular classic red and blue spider-man we have peter parker on the far left we have kenkel venom on on the right we're going to be getting an updated venom if the rumors are true and a two-pack with null so we'll finally be able to retire this monstrosity yeah and i'm liking the way he stacks up here with spider-man i guess he's about the right height but yeah this this is one that I would definitely recommend, although I have had a few little QC issues or paint imperfections on my version. On the left arm, I chipped off a little bit of paint. There seems to be a little bleed close around the shoulders, and I had a few like little nicks and scuffs on the top of his head. But overall, a pretty nice looking clean figure. Pinless elbows and knees is a plus, and one I would recommend that you pick up. So yeah, thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell down there, and until next time, peace. I'm in the game, I'm grinding, I got the play. 24 hours in the day, seven days out the week, I never sleep. I'm on my grizzly bear, 52 weeks out the year.